In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform Craig's test to evaluate the alignment of the hip joint in anti or retroversion. Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Lower extremity alignment can influence the load distribution on the joints and mechanical efficiency of the muscles. Among these different alignment variables, femoral antiversion has been identified as a risk factor for hip and knee joint injury. Craig's test is designed to determine a patient's anatomical hip alignment in antiversion or retroversion. Patients with an antiverted hip usually have more internal rotation range of motion than external range of motion. They also have a tendency to develop knee valgus, which might be a factor in several knee pathologies. Antiversion is more common in females who, on average, have a wider pelvis and a larger Q angle. For patients with a retroverted hip, this is usually the other way around. So they have more external rotation than internal rotation and a tendency to have bow legs. Choi et al. in the year 2015 evaluated the inter-rate reliability of the Craig's test with different measurement instruments. They found a poor inter-rate reliability for the goniometer with 0.25 and 0.27 for the inclinometer, while only a goniometer with a laser beam had moderate inter-rate reliability of 0.62. For this reason, the clinical value of this test is rather weak. To perform this test, have your patient in prone position with both legs in neutral. The examiner flexes the knee of the hip to be examined to 90 degrees and palpates the greater trochanter of the hip on that side. Now perform internal and external rotation of the hip to determine the position in which the greater trochanter is parallel with the treatment bench, or in other words, when it reaches its most lateral position. In this position, the examiner uses a goniometer to measure the degrees of anti or retroversion in relation to the position that is perpendicular to the table. 10 to 15 degrees of antiversion is considered normal, so an angle greater than that would be considered a positive test indicating antiversion of the hip, and anything less than 10 degrees would be considered a positive test indicating retroversion of the hip joint. All right, so this was our video on Craig's test of the hip joint. If you would like to have all of our orthopedic tests in your pocket, download our new and free PhysioTutors app where all assessments are part of our premium package that you can try seven days for free. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.